Team Impulse versus Team Gravity. And this has been a mirrored game for the most part. On the other side, Hauntzer is under the turret, hasn't been pushed off, but is in danger oh boy. of a dive. That's a lot of people. <laughs> this is a lot of people. Sealing your fate right here. Who's going to take the turret aggro first? They're kind of waiting. They want the wave to be in the right spot. Turret aggro goes on impact. He's in a bad spot, though. Actually going to be able to get out very nicely. Yep. Twisted advance to safe. Really go, because that's the way this team comp is built. That's Keen getting pretty low. Oh, go boy. Button. Depth charge. Anchor toss goes out. Keen goes down. Rush is making his way out. And they try to use Bad the rubble, rubble but just on Rush. He dives back in. They're going to start shredding down gravity in this fight. They baited out the ult that they needed from both Keen and Hauntzer and take the fight in front of Dragon. In the early game, create enough pressure that it like globally affects the map. The other lanes do better because of what he's doing. There was none of that for gravity. So that option was kind of thrown out the window immediately. Not as many wards as he usually throws down. Still went for the sight stone, but it's not able to pay off for the team. They're... Oh my god! Yeah, they're all there. I was going to say they're not going to be able to close the gap, but one after the other, they actually get four or three assists in the kill over to Apollo on that one. Potion of Wrath as well, so he's looking to do even a little bit more well, damage. The TP he, home guard could be coming he, in. He can for teleport Keen. in any second. He just revived. Pretty good equalizer coming in. Apollo flashes on the end of that one. Keen teleport coming in. It's from the bottom side. He's going to be able to hit the whole team of Impulse here. Coming through. He knocks down Apollo. Keen is huge in this one as the rest of the team starts to pick up the priority kills. And they move down now. Adrian's going to be going down after he dredge lines out of this one. But Keen going down actually baits Impulse into a fight that gives it back to gravity. As Keen came up a little late in the situation. Bring themselves three more kills out of that. Six to four. Woo! Now on to Hauntzer. We were talking about that long range pressure that Rush can provide. And maybe the Righteous Glory even more. Keen just came back up to help his team with kills. And now he goes down for the shutdown. Going over to Xiao Wei Xiao for a bit of extra gold. How are you supposed to get picks if you're blindly trying to jump into these setup scenarios? And you're playing any, against an Eve, one guy they has take, that sweeper. Like, this might work, but it's not because of vision uh, control. Of course they catch the Eve. <laughs> Taking down Let's move. see what this Baron provides for us, though. 15 seconds on the Dragon. Still getting some pings on that. Oh, that's the ultimate coming in from Apollo. Keen's forced to go in. Apollo gets hit very hard, but he's got a nice flash to the back line. Hauntzer finds his target, though. Keen getting hit, goes down, but Alltech has enough time to hit the oh. DPS from the outside. Bunny Fufu just grazing the skirt of Xiao Wei Xiao's casting in. Woo. But a two for two after everything. Pitched up. Little Luden's proc there took a good amount of damage off of Mood as well. Force Pulse goes in. Move now down to half HP. A great. Start to the fight coming in for Impulse. Rush goes in. Remember, they have the Righteous Glory and the Randuins to lock down Gravity where they want them. On to the back line. Alltech doesn't take too much. He flashes to safety. Xiao Wei Xiao very low. Keen's trying to chase him now. Impact zap by Alltech. Alltech's now open. Free to do the damage. Double kill for him. Those are the only two members down as the rest of Impulse is forced to limp away. Gravity finds the fight. They won a 5v5 straight up in the mid lane. Woo. Really close fight right there. Rush used his clothes trying to kill the lowest level member on Gravity in move. Instead of going for Alltech, therefore Alltech is free hitting for the majority of the fight. Still burns both summoners to stay alive, but is successful. Gravity pushing up. Not able to close though because the fight was so long and the death timers are already coming back up. No way. No way. A very big error coming in from Xiao Wei Zhao. Stepped right into the hook of Bunny Fufu. A little bit of not respecting oh, the situation, boy. but that could have been the pause necessary. Oh, the choppers on the zap! Alltech inside the mind of impact. Path as they have extra money. They really want to fight this. The boot. They're going to go on Bunny Fufu, the guy that peels for Alltech. He flashes out the box for disengage as well. Keen's in there. He gets bumped Alltech out. Close. Throws the onslaught of shadows back to Apollo. Alltech on the backside has face of the mountain trying to throw a rocket. Whoa! The AOE is doing huge damage, but that's a big pickup by Xiao Wei Xiao before he goes down. Alltech picks up the triple kill, I believe, in the end of that fight. Maybe <laughs> just a double. Gravity has littered the other side of the map with wards here. Yeah, if Gravity, Impulse were to exit this fight, they'd still be in vision. So we'll see if Gravity can even get here to contest. And Gravity knows something's up right here. Keen's got to make sure not to get jumped on right away. Oh, hanging a care out by the horse. Keen gets caught right there. They used everything on him. Does the team come back in and have something to say about it? Gravity's forced to back off. The smite is still there for move for a play.
But does Impulse even chance it? Sivir ult and Nocturne ult burn, but it is for one of your main carries and tanks and keen. Gravity perfect wants spot. to go in on this, but this is so dangerous. It's got to be a perfect equalizer. Can't miss it if they decide to chase. Again, ult on right the move. Nothing on to ult tech. The back line gets hit. Xiao Xiao very low. Ult tech. A lot of room to work with this now. They try to get out of Twisted Advance. Hit! There's the cleanse. He's back out. Haunts are very low, but there's just too many members now. Wait! Oh, he dodges it, but Haunts are. The boomerang doesn't have to hit. He throws out a crit auto. They take each other down in a draw. And it's going to be Impulse Woo. coming up with the win here. Smite's still up for move. He's trying to make his way in. One shot to Xiao Wei Pao. Xiao Wei Xiao uses the smite onto him. <laughs> and they actually pull off to go take down move instead of try and finish the Baron with a possibility that move can come back for damage. Or top lane needs a lot of loving right now. Janitorial duty going to somebody. Actually, no, no chance yeah. on that yeah. one. Hecarim flank teleporting in. He's got home guard. The hook, Bunny Foo Foo. He's going in. A little more vision. Onslaught of Shadows is in. His move there to get the Baron. It's down to a 60. It gets taken by Rush. They have it, but they also lose him. Three down now for Impulse. Gravity has the cleanup crew here right now. That's going to be four kills for them and a huge swing it should be to the game if they can get these minion waves moved. That Baron call, they thought they could rush it down against double teleport, a rumble, and invisible Eve without ward coverage. That's just not a quality decision. It's a very high risk. Yes, they get the Baron, but they get crushed within the Baron pit. Of course, gravity collapses down. They get the teleport. They get the Jinx cleanup, but now maybe they get the game. That's four deaths for another 30 seconds, and it's against the Jinx. Going in hard, minion wave slightly behind them. Looks like they're going to take maybe the first few shots. No, they are waiting for the wave. 10 seconds and 20 seconds are the closest ones. 10 seconds is only going to be for Adrian. That's the first turret. The second one didn't even last five now. Adrian's not even up. That's going to be the Nexus. 43 minutes in, Gravity finds a 5v5 where they take down four members of Impulse, and Gravity takes the win. What a ridiculous series of events this game turned into. 20 kills to 19. Gravity is down in gold when they eventually win. Versus Counter Logic Gaming. Last time these teams faced off was in the spring playoff is kind of, Like you said, rounded out to that. And everybody can be the one to get that ball and strike it into the net this time. Oh, this After is a move. This is what didn't happen last game. COD is trying to cut off the tribute from Team Liquid, but a stun in the turret. Oh, very close. It's with the ignites on that could take him down. The potion hits. Oh, the flash forward, and he's going to get roared by Quas. Scion with first blood. They're going to try to get that double buff off of him. Quas is loving the fact that he gets that in the lane now. They can just continue. Tied him on Nar. It's been Black Cleaver the last few times he's played Nar, but this time it's going to be frozen mallet. And oh dear, that's already a flash down. Chain stunned. Oh, they're still going on to Xmithy. Bard all tempered fade onto a special, but that damage was already delivered. It could have hit the other units for a better ultimate, but unfortunate good dodges from Team Liquid. Ward. Phoenix just going and making Xmithy's life as difficult yep. as possible. It's the little things. They add up in your favor. Whoa, here we go. Oh boy, I liked it. They aggro on him immediately, oh. though. He's out of the turn range. Last shot, like you said. Trying to kill a brick wall. Qua stays alive. Oh, special flashes forward for the Timbers. And he's able to take down Zion Spartan. Three kills now coming in. That's Team Liquid still diving under the turret. He Sharima slides his way in. Turret goes oh. down. They're able to get it. Fardalt almost helping him out there, but he goes down right as the last soldier gives him a poke. An eye on this one. Blue for blue. Nothing really lost in that situation, but this turret is oh boy. in favor of Team Liquid. Tempered Fate comes out. That's all the teleports. Don't fight unless you're fighting where the TF is. And Team Megan Liquid might want to change their mind. Zion Spartan very close to the rage bar. He is now in Meganar form, but does not have his gap closer. Quas is actually going to dive oh back man. in right to the turret. Double lift with the sidestep. Okie doke. And now Quas is in a real bad spot. He's going to go down. And that's going to be a kill coming in for Counter Logic Gaming. Team Liquid goes a little too deep for their own good. Yeah, brilliant use of the Bard ultimate on an ally. So rarely do we get to see a nice save that hits an ally, but it stops him in the turret. It gives COG time to catch up on the rotation. Everyone collapses in, plus the Twisted Fate. And if Zion had had that leap go off a minion and double, he could have mega nard everyone right. into the wall. But even though he didn't, Every flash on people that escaped was burned, and they want Phoenix in this turret. Oh boy. He's pretty strong, though. What's he gonna do? 
Oh! Oh, oh he, he got, got two! two. He's going to get a triple Phoenix. kill! A quadra kill! An amazing Whoa. play by Phoenix on his ear! The legacy of Sharima is real! I said we let that one breathe for a little while. And now Team Liquid is on the inhibitor turret. Sub 30 minutes in this game. A parallel convergence to keep everyone off the turret. And it looks like they're going to have what they need with this bear oh, pressure right. right into the base. The inhibitor turret's still up. Not getting enough focus. It finally goes down. And CLG is forced to go back onto the fountain. Home guards aren't finished up on the majority of their members yet. This could be an inhibitor going down already. Team Liquid not stopping. A focus here on the Poe Belter. That's the Zanyas. Bard is down. No tempered fate to follow. That's the Azir damage. He Sharima slides in, gets the shield on the shift. And Phoenix is still alive. That is completely keeping Team Liquid in this game right now. The little things falling in their favor are absolutely crushing counter logic game. Takes from this Baron, how low it gets and how committed COD can get. Okay. Onto a tank. Not bad, Quas. Phoenix gets hit up very hard. If Pobalt can come out of this with a card, he gets the kill, but he does not. Phoenix hits the Zanyas just at the time the wild cards fly back at him from the no-look Chuck on Pobelter. McSmithy gets himself out. He's able to get to safety right now, and Doublelift is trying to kite everybody back. A nice cosmic binding will put Dominate and Quas in a bad spot. Absolutely crushed. Expecial goes down in the wrong side of the fight. Xmithy could get hit up. He flashes away. Quas just a sliver from going down himself, and Doublelift's able to find that kill. It could be bad. Dominates into the fight. He's getting echo kills, but Doublelift's also turning it around. Here comes Phoenix now, able to find his way back into the fight after going around everything on the map. It's a double and a triple, a full house. The full house dominates over Phoenix. That's the eight. In these fights, had Phoenix twice taken about 80 more damage. It would have changed completely. We'll see once again here, Team Liquid ready to fight. Xmithy oh. goes down immediately, doesn't even get a chance to breathe in this one. Just Agony's embrace and then he's in the ground. Two kills now coming up. Counter Logic Gaming is in retreat and the magical journey gets taken by everyone. Tibber's sad on the other side, unfortunately. And a double kill coming in for Phoenix. That is Zion Spartan all the way on the side of Team Liquid. Their side of the map. Teleporting back to his base. Team Liquid now inside CLG's base. Taking the inhibitors down. Going for the Nexus. Yep, Baron up. Everyone up for Team Liquid. This will be the game. Team Liquid will take down the number one team in North America. Going to move themselves up in the standings very nicely. That will be six and three for Team Liquid as they have the eyes on the Nexus turrets. From the get-go, the game was in their hands. And Team Liquid in 36 minutes take down Counter Logic Gaming. It's got to be a satisfying win for Team Liquid after going 0-2 yeah, last week. They needed to pick up a win against a top five North American team. Team Solo mid versus Team Eight. Now, obviously, yep. one of our definitely top will put the guy that wants to do the DPS while Turtle more in a safe position in the fights. Here, though, they could start to get him going very early, going for Kelly Trolls in the bot lane. Who's going to be the first to take aggro? Santorin can flag and drag out. If it is him, it's going to be on to Lust Boy. He flashes out nicely, but the whole team of Team A reads this, and Ooh. Kelly Trolls gets first blood. Kelly Trolls stays alive. Dyrus goes down, and they can't get Wild Turtle anything in the bottom lane. It feels like TSM is just waiting to farm this one out a little bit. But that is very dangerous against Shen Nocturne because they can combo those ult alts at any yeah. moment and go for a kill. Oh boy. <laughs> combo, what did you say? <laughs> combo what? I'll take a supersized number two combo. Thank Don't, you. Didn't even need Shen. This team needs him here if there's a fast engage. Yeah, this will be tricky. How willing is teammate to start the dragon and peel off of it with TF? Sorry, with Nocturne and Shen. It's going to be very close. They just go right away. Right to Bjergsen. That's the back line we were talking about. He spell shields the Emperor's Divide, actually. They get through. Santorin tries to block everybody. He's helping on the back line, but it's going to be Bjergsen that goes down. Turtle's hitting Kali Trolls, but he's got that Sunfire Cape already. Doing hardly any damage, chipping away at the brick wall. Teammates forced to watch Kali go down as Turtle gets a double kill. Unfortunate there. A very chaotic fight. Oh, seems like they were not able to get any grabs. They want it. Now playing off this blue buff. I don't think Lust Boy is going to be doing too much. He does not take the death leap, but Dodo does right on to him. Lust Boy goes down, and the team's forced to run. They may not be ready to get the right stand United in. Teammates scrambling to get wards down here. Let's see if they can start to repair these mistakes that have allowed Team Solo mid into their base. Lust Boy looking for the hook that could start this fight off. And right over to Dodo, they let Porpoise pass by in the bait, and they're able to completely take down the support. No anti-flash coming in on this one. 
to steal Baron because Porpoise has no flash and no ultimate. I think we're seeing a fight here. Coming in on the stand, United. They're not going to try to go for Baron at all. Fate's Call has already gone out. Porpoise is just walking around like a statue. He didn't even have any mana to go into that fight. Team 8 was going in completely for the 50-50 steal, and TSM baited him right into it. Yeah, and the Azir puts a tremendous amount of Baron pressure down, plus Kalista. They kill it fast and secure it, so Team 8 has to fight them before the Baron's down. Boomerang doesn't go towards Baron. It's trying to take down Bjergsen. They're looking for... Baron to fight with them here. Dodo flashes in though, he's the one taking it. He needs to back up. Baron just killed Dodo along with Wild Turtle. A huge mistake in the fight. And Wild's gonna try to finish this one off. The Rend might keep Golden Glue in range. The Summoner heals there. A few more shots. Marshall Cadence doesn't put Turtle in range and neither does the arrow. But Team 8 runs out of that one hurting. Uh, and then he couldn't quite get the Whoa! Pierce. Whoa! We're back in it, baby. It's a fight already. Take that fight, and it looks like Team 8 got caught just entering their own jungle. Team Solomid still trying to deny resources, and this fight's going coast to coast, out of the jungle and into the base almost. The gravity field keeps them at bay. And two Randuins to keep everybody in range. There's one, Wild Turtles the caboose of this train, and it looks like he may get hit. He actually gets popped back. Does not take the Lantern because the Fear hits him up halfway through. They're gonna keep going on for this fight. TSM is kind of stuck in a choke point right now. A nice Emperor's Divide will cut off that pathway and Teammate actually has to head back home. Nobody wants to make the call to do something. Looks like Teammate is now on the back foot. One last engage. They go straight for Wild Turtle. He's gonna cleanse immediately so the Fear's gonna lock on but nobody else is with him. Zarima. The Emperor's Divide rather going to stop the gate, and they are in the base. Not looking perfect for Team Solo Mid, but looking just good enough to finalize the kills. Bjergsen takes about 50% of his HP from one laser in the explosion. He goes down, Nien finds the kill, but Nien's too close and finds himself in the ground as well. Kali Trolls may be able to hit the, the fountain, but TSM hey. is going to be on the Nexus. That's the double kill for Wild Turtle. 7 1 2 coming off a wavering position that may solidify his spot there. Looking a lot better. 14 to 10 as we get 40 minutes into the game. TSM always knew they were going to win, and they do come up with the win over Team 8. Very important for Wild Turtle, and he got seven kills in this matchup, but it was still a sloppy game from the start for yep. Team Solo Mid. But to their credit, they fought back after giving up early double kill. About it's Cloud9 versus Team Dragon Knights. Now, for Cloud9, they have to. It can actually have uh, ramifications for the bottom lane. Here comes Midos. Notice he has the Raptor buff from smiting that. A uh, Wraith camp. So he knows there's no war this time. Wow. Double, knock double stun and a double knockup, and that's the easy kill picked up on a smoothie. The flashless support. Latman runs away. Nothing they could have done. So well played by C9. Another stun lands on a Latman. The flash knockup. The. Oh, he's going to live. <laughs> I think a minion blocked volley there. <laughs> down, even leaving behind a spirit wolf to annoy. Oh, and Balls is coming too. Man Cloud, how good's your cutting? Kez gonna join in this one. A nice double knockback though. Man Cloud the buys of some time. Le Incarnation does cut away. They get the kill onto Echo. Everyone else has seen unable to retreat, but now Balls a little overextended. Gonna get the wrongs out of that fight. Seraph showing up with teleport does survive and get a kill back. Now Incarnation, oh, the Timbers <laughs> blocks the hook and Latman's on the wrong side of those mighty. Goes away for no reason. On into that side of the jungle. So they're able to grab the first dragon. Reap the rewards. Oh, man. Speaking of grabbing someone, though, a nice jump over the wall for Man Cloud to set up the kill with Kez. Knocks down Incarnation. In comes Balls turning back around. Kez flashes. Ults away as well. The Shark is going to hit him. Fizz comes up. Azir to help the Slozer there. Meteos joining in, and Balls will get the kill. Versus the TF. Uh, it was mentioned how important oh. it is for TF to. Uh oh. Good stun. Sneaky doing a bit of damage for us to flash away. Medios channels to teleport, and now who's caught? Wow, Smoothie getting jumped on by Rek'Sai and Annie. Kills go through to Medios. Now Kez on the wrong side of the team. Looks like his spells are all down. Ults back in towards Incarnation. Wednesday coming up. One second away, he can almost jump the wall. He's gonna now! Oh, man. <laughs> Flash by Medios on Needed, the ult for Incarnation. All that was required. Kill goes through. All Man Cloud's done is shove out mid, run away, and Balls is on the hunt, so I don't know if Man Cloud's even gonna live here. Revealed by a Crystal Hawk, goes towards Balls. Shark is on him, jumps right back over. Kill goes through to Cloud9. 25 seconds on Dragon and map control for the blue team. All right, Cloud9 turn around. This should be easy gold to pick up off the map uh, as they're able to force TDK off. 
Ooh, good flash by Lantman. Gets away from the ball's Q, but of course, Fizz still on the chase. Trinity Force there. Ease forward. Spell Shield's not going to do a single thing. And Lantman gets still a clip before turn. the Seraph TP even comes in. Ball's flash, sorry, jumps away. Boomerang means nothing. Kez is the one. It's kind of awkward for TDK because they don't need they send to answer balls. Hold on, Smoothie. Goodbye. Somehow walk through the obviously warded area of the jungle that Cloudnet was still camping. That seemed the potential 4v3, potential 5v3 action. Here it comes. TP Plank comes in. Three guys only. Actually, no four. As Smoothie has respawned, but Man Cloud about to get chunked down. Mina gets the knockout. Lemonation pulling aggro, though. He's nearly going to die to this one. One more turret shot will kill him, but the fight's still going back and forth. Kez does get the trade kill on towards Sneaky. Ball still in the back line. Goes in for Smoothie. Oh! Gets hooked in. Dies, but Ball's still alive. Turret won't knock him down. It's a three for two so far. Ball's down is even more damage. Kez got nowhere to go. Gets a shield! <laughs> Just in time! Minions! 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 He's alive for now! Don't give up, minions! Oh, you lazy! Two of them turned back! They're done! Where are the replacement's gonna do? Oh, ignite! The slow and steady siege mid. By the way, it comes in. Man, oh. Cloud goes for the big play out of Sneaky. Naga goes back through, but Echo to the back line as well means they will knock down the Cloud 980 carry. A one for zero. Ult in from Kez, gonna push Cloud 9 away. Latman Whoa, on the Latman. chase. Uh, way too greedy. Goes down for his kill. A double kill for Incarnation. Cloud9 turning it back around off the missteps of TDK. Balls tanky enough to make this dive happen, but a decent turnaround back from Seraph is locking up. Midas had already killed Balls, a two for three overall, still in C9's favor. Seraph misses the house. Summoner heal used, Go but finally the, the auto attack gonna kill him off. And now Incarnation plus Meteos versus Seraph plus Kez. It's a two versus two solo laner plus jungler. TDK running away from their own base. Meteos is that scary. Kez is out of mana. He's, uh, he's on his own now. Meteos no mana, but doesn't need it. Building up Rage as he knocks down into Kez. That fight's going to give him some health as he aggroes the Raptors, who are now dealing damage back to him. So awkward there, but Kez gets away. Three for three. Mid lane turret did go down. Advantage, Z9. They've cleaned the map. There's one right there on the other side of the Wraith Wall now. Meteos just put into position, prepping the teleport from Balls. They're just waiting for TDK to press up on the turret. When they get up onto the turret, Balls can channel the teleport. There's the initiation. Big stun comes in. Teleport goes in as well. Stuns onto Smoothie. He's going to nearly kill the support, but he stays alive. Balls and Meteos zoned out by the Azir turret. No kills for Cloud9 just yet. The kiting away. The Azir soldiers come in. Meteos slowed one more time. As long as Smoothie stays safe, he does stay alive. A one for zero. Balls in the wrong side of this fight as well. Oh. In comes Madcloud. Great juke by Balls to stay alive. And Lantern keeps himself safe. Mid lane, Azir turret will deconstruct. You know, pink wards already in place to do so. There's no reason to risk Baron damage. Oh, well, maybe if they kill off Madcloud like that. Holy cow! Two picked up immediately. This is going to be an easy dive for the rest of Cloud9. Mikhail's used on a Latman, but doesn't even matter. It's the whole team getting routed. Balls doing plenty of damage. Latman flashing. Balls really wants it. <laughs> maybe more than he needs. He's He'll get him. him. He'll get him. He'll get him. It's four kills picked up. Only Seraph alive, still unkilled in this game. But Cloud9 can knock down at least an inhibitor. 30 to 40 second death timers means maybe more. Balls 9 and 2 at this point on the Fizz. They're inside the base, and it looks like they're going to rush down a couple of Nexus turrets here. They're going for the win. The timers are coming up pretty quick. Uh, let's see if they got this one. Flash down into Seraph. He's a pretty tanky Nar. It's just going to be the game going All down. Right, they they could have chosen yeah. Baron. Instead, they choose to win the game outright. 37 and a half minutes. Cloud 9 adds another win to the column over TDK. Final game as they take on enemy esports. Now Dignitas have Rumble, emerged. Rumble is one of the best champions at taking 2v1s, but he's in a pretty bad spot. Smite use good flash, but the knockup still gonna come through. Good equalizer. Gamsu a lot of damage. Fears him back across. Flares still on the run. Flashes down. Tower dive by Gamsu. Tanking aggro, but Flares gets a lot of damage back, and Gamsu can't get away. Ball. Kill comes back through to Flares. Helios gonna clear the wave. Still right. advantage Dignitas. Yeah, Close. with Jinx, they can burn it down. Tippers is Tippers tank. Tippers is doing his job. Uh, poor JJ cuts him down. Ooh, slight overstay. Otter takes a bit of damage, but they go back on towards Kiwi Kid. Body drop now takes the ulti. Gamsu is in, goes for Otter. Summer heal. Nice buy of time from Trashy. He's got to be careful. Out of mana. Ulti already popped. Body drop nowhere to go. Will oh. get picked up by Gamsu, but Flares is in the mix. Ulti comes through, but it whiffs. Rocket's going to miss. That means two kills for nothing for Dignitas. It doesn't matter if you group up under this turret and they land an AoE stun. 
Well, they're going to okay. land a single target. Stun Kiwi takes all of the cooldowns, as you mentioned, which means nothing left to do. Body Drop just barely survives a late equalizer, but maybe it's enough. Flares the chase down. Body Drop did eventually die, thanks to Sivir. Life still at this point, but he can try and grab some scraps of health back. Oh, that one hit, fifth. though. They want to go in towards Inox. The Flash Tippers goes in the beginning. Body Drop gets jumped on, but it buys time for Inox to kite away. The dive is still there. Body Drop goes down. Trade kills two for one. Dignitas in the advantage. Gamsu gets chunked down, but Shifter is still alive to deal a bunch. Core JJ tanks the rocket, gets away. It's a two for two with Team Dignitas picking up the second dragon as well. But he gets it's enough it. to get the blue buff, so. Yeah, but attack damage wise, Cleaver and is about the same. Body Drop stuns up with Kiwi Kid. A lot of damage coming through as Helios is still on the chase. Trashy walking forward has not ulted yet. Dig the toss. There's a two man stun, but enemy just ru running away. But Gamsu can disrupt it here. He goes in, looks for Trashy, nearly knocks him down. A big knock from Helios means it's going to be a kill. Two for one in favor of Team Dig In goes Kiwi Kid, lands some roots, lands some damage. A great zap into the rocket, but here's the chase in. Shift, they're going to go for Inox. Helios with the knock is going to get the kill. Hands it over to Core JJ, and now Otto the last one alive, a triple kill for the Sivir. It's a four for two in favor of Dignitas. All right. And Team Dignitas already flooding in, and there's only going to be about five seconds to go until that thing actually dies. So a limited window for enemy sports to go in. 2,500 health. Rocket there's the knock to buy some time. Oh, blue team has secured Baron Nasher. Huh. Helios spites early, but it's going to be fine. Kill goes on a body drop. Second half of the chase. Flares pops the Zonies, but where's the engage? Where's the team fight from enemy esports? They're nowhere to be seen. Two kills picked up, and the Baron for Team Dignitas. Well, Freak, it was all used in trying to steal the Baron. Yeah, Inhibitor's gone. Time for the inhibitor to respawn. Kiwi Kid got rooted up. This might have been the window. Gamps to the front. There's Equalizer, but he uses it before the Glacial Prison. Stun lands only onto Helios. The fight comes in. Otter trying to cut away. Body drop goes down. Otter as well. Three kills, four kills picked up. Inox the last alive. And goodbye. A double kill for Shifter. At the end of the fight, 17 to 6. Minions in the base. Shifter, who did flash forward, by the way, into the fight. All right. <laughs> Dignitas going to be able to take this one, though. Well played. Looks clean, looks secured. 6 0 and 10 for Core JJ. 5 3 and 11 for Gamsu. Big score lines for these players. And that's going to be the game under 30 minutes. Team Dignitas and Saturday in first place.